My name is Chris Olivia and my colleague here is James Eden and we are founder members of a company called Kulika Limited that we're looking for £80,000 in return for 10% equity in the company. James. Uh, hello everybody, uh, I'm James, I'm the inventor of the Kulika and the Kulika is the greatest game invention since playing cards and chess and you play the Kulika with pegs and the pegs they slot into the Kulika and you can play games by putting uh, pegs in according to different rules. And these games have names like uh, Q Colours, you've got Q Molecular, Q Snakes, you've got Q Match and Q Combat. And the great thing about the Kulika is you can play games that are multiplayer games or you can play single player games. We do recognise it's, it's much of a, a touchy-feely type game. Um, so the, the best way, I guess, to get to know it is if you want to complete a, a semi-started game, James will explain. Yeah, let's go. Sure. Yeah. Sharpish. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. So. Thank you. What do I have to do? I will explain <laughs> that in just a second. <coughs> it's a bug. It's a bug? Yeah. I'll watch. If you You're going to watch? Fine. Anyone else want to? Yeah. Okay. Each bug's got a different colour in. That, that's right, yeah. So the rules in this case are you have to get four in a row straight or three in a row diagonal. Three in a row diagonal? Yeah, but not um, by moving ones that are already yeah. in. Oh, I adding new that. ones, yeah. <laughs> and you pass on the Kulika to the next person along in the row. So, oh, I see, so I've only got green. So I take one out of green one, okay, so I'm going to put the green one in there, okay? So, so the, the idea is, I think, is, is Duncan trying to get four in a row, you see. And we're he, trying to stop him. That's right. I'll and, get and your four before him. That's right. I'm going to block him. <laughs> there you go. There you go, good block. I've blocked him. Yeah. Oh, that, that wins. Very good. Yeah. All right, so go. Oh, yeah, so you set it up so just one. <laughs> and I don't even get a go. But you, you know what? Yeah. I think Duncan moved one of the yellow pegs. And he's I won. Yeah. Just leave it, all right, yeah. Peter? I won. Problem the game. was, Duncan <laughs> went first. Competition amongst the dragons is not unusual in the den, but former work friends James Eden and Chris Olivia hope to turn it to their advantage with a demonstration of their new multi game cube. They're looking for £80,000 of dragon cash to establish it on the market. A bewildered Peter Jones is first to question the duo. Hi, I'm Peter. When you were doing your pitch, you were doing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I hadn't yeah, what you sneaked that in. That, yeah. Uh, what I was doing was simply doing some gestures, like Q snakes was Q snakes is like ah. a snake. So this is a snake. Right. Q yeah, that was it. combat. Right. But why is the what's that? That that's uh, my impression of somebody doing a, a, a combat move in a martial art. All oh, right, but that has nothing to do with the game itself. No, it was that was to do more with the demonstrating name, right? the word combat. That's right. Yeah, word association. So you articulate like word association so that yeah. we might get it. That, awesome. Well, obviously that was a failed strategy. That was it. <laughs> James, Chris, hi. I'm Deborah. Hi, Deborah. The first thing I want to understand is where the business is at the moment. I'm not sure, are you already in production and selling them, or is okay. this still at prototype? Our first, no, we have our first production run arriving in the country at the moment. Yeah. We have 5,000 ordered, and our online store has been open literally a few days. And are you selling to any retailers? Have you approached any retailers? We have a, a distributor doing that for us, yes. OK, and where, where are they? Have they approached anybody? Have they taken They've, any orders? We have um, a firm offer, if not a formal order, from Lakeland. But basically, they've given us a paperwork for 800 units with another 200, 400 units There's to no follow. odd number on it, if so, you like, literally, yeah. yet. And the distributor, give me an idea of how much they think they're going to sell of this game. I can't give you concrete numbers because it's not a science, but what I will say is okay, this game is a unique game. probably the best way of saying it, then, is, is um, of the games that they sell... Yes. ..how many will they sell of a very successful game? They're selling into uh, the, all the major distributors, including... Take one of the games that they currently say. sell... Yeah. ..and tell me what they consider good sales. We don't know. The jovial atmosphere is long gone as more pressing business concerns come to the fore. Theo Pafitis is not looking impressed. OK, the product. You're obviously incredibly passionate about it. I've got to be honest, I've seen nothing that tells me I can't wait to go and 
get a sample and play with it. Your order book doesn't say people think they want to take it home and play with it. I mean, obviously, you have to bear in mind that we are new. You know, we've just come onto the market and we've got intent from Hamleys and our distributor said that Hamleys never, ever stock anything from a new company before the product is selling. Right, let me and just tell you, let me just say your distributor, and you seem to have stumbled on somebody who just tells you what you want to hear. If I may, um, yeah. essentially, I think what we're dealing here with is a revolutionary product. And in, in the talk of the marketing speak, you know, we call it a disruptive technology. Our greatest strength and greatest weakness is it's a novelty. And my opinion is this, this game is going to get popular. They're going to be early adopters, people like chess players, bridge players, poker players, yeah? People who like mind games, they will adopt it. The parents will buy it because it gets the kids away from the television, right? This game makes you smarter. And this invention is going to set the toy world on fire. It's going to make millions of pounds in a very short amount of time. A bold and passionate fight back from the creative brain of the business. But will James's steadfast belief in the product be shared by Hilary DeVay? Chris, James, have I got this right? You've actually got 5,000 of this product on the sea on its way to you now. No, it's actually in our warehouse. You've got it. Yeah. Well, theory, yeah. And we're selling. Today. Yeah. And bear in mind, we're investing our own money, yeah, and it's money we can afford to lose. So we're taking a business risk and it's on our heads. The amazing thing is, right, we got, we got orders, we got intent from Hamleys, right, uh, that's unprecedented, right? This means no, no, that no, they no, must no, really no, love no, 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 the no, 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 they're in the oh. toy industry, oh, they're James, buyers, James, James, right? stop talking, they're impressed please. enough. Please stop they also talking. have... Chris, don't, don't start talking when he stops talking. I want to ask you one question. Do you want me to be polite or honest? We're always looking for honest feedback. So far, we've had very positive feedback. It's the most boring game <laughs> I have ever seen. You would play it twice at the very, very most. And for that reason, I'm not going to invest, and so I am out. A first blow for the plucky duo as an indignant Duncan Bannatyne walks away from the deal. And now, Theo Pafitis is ready to have his say. OK, the games market is incredibly competitive. And uh, your peak selling period, which is Christmas, is when you sell most of your toys. And do you know what they do? They discount them. So you kill your margin at the time you're selling most of your product. It's nuts. And you will find this out as you get these big orders from these retailers you hope to get. You've got some stock in. It's not a huge amount of stock. It's 5,000 units. You will know within those 5,000 units whether you've got a business here or not. You will know whether we're right or we're wrong. If we're wrong, you won't need the money. If we're right, we've saved our money. <laughs> but I'm going to have to say, I'm out. Chris, James, you may well sell a few. You might sell the 5,000 that have landed here today. But commercially, no, love, no. I don't think it's going to be the market leader that you protest it will be. It's not an investable product for me. I'm sorry. I'm out. Two more dragons out, and now the duo's den fate lies in the hands of Deborah Meaden and Peter Jones. Will they find a reason to invest £80,000? Um, I don't know. I can only go on gut reaction. You're, you're clearly smart, guys. You might have invented the next great thing. The problem for me is I didn't find it that exciting. And I'm out. Guys, what's sad about it is that I love all these types of things. From the Rubik's Cube as a kid all the way through, I've always had these sort of things. And I don't know whether it's the game or whether it was the way that you've put it across. But it just doesn't do it for me. And I think at that moment, you've got to make a decision. Do I want to invest my money into it? Would I buy one? So I'm weighing those questions up. Firstly, I wouldn't buy one. And secondly, I wouldn't invest my money. I'm going to say, I'm out. OK, thank, yeah. you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Would you like a business card? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. Get out of here. Yeah, stairs, just, go on. Okay. Stairs are there. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Good luck, guys. James and Chris's enthusiasm for their product may have won the affection of the dragons, but not their cash. The duo leave with nothing. 
you know where we asked the Dragons to play the game? What we didn't anticipate would happen, which was a disaster, was Duncan started rearranging the pegs. Right? Moving them all over the place, yeah. I think that uh, what we'll do, we'll uh, certainly take on board their criticisms and we'll analyse them and reanalyse them. And then if we don't get too much cognitive dissonance, then we <laughs> might actually learn something. <laughs>